Hello everybody, my name is Leo, and with this video we will share the Guitar Gear news of the last month. Let's start. First of all you may be surprised to see that my face is a little bit younger compared to my typical videos, and my voice is much more cool. Well, I'm an AI, generated version of Leo, as Leo is currently without voice, after having sung with his band at a recent concert. Well, he is such a weak man. He is not the lead singer, he just sung some second voices lines and now he is unable to speak. When he was younger, he was for sure stronger. But without any further ado, let's go back to the topic of this video. First of all Zoom has released two new budget-friendly amp modeling pedal boards which are called Zoom G24 and G2X4. The two units are basically equal, they differ for two main things, the price and the expression pedal. The price of the G24 is €224 Euros and $200, where the price of the G2X4 is €257 Euros and $230. Furthermore the G2X4 has the expression pedal, which is missing in the G24, even if the G24 has an input for an external controller, which is missing in the G2X4. These units are updated versions of the original G14 and G1X4, which were released back in 2019. They now offer 22 amps and cabinets, with 79 effects that you can place in whatever order you want in up to 7 effects blocks. In terms of amp and cab tone, one leading feature for Zoom is the multi-layer IR technology. Basically you have three different layers of IRs, recorded at three different volume levels, in order to try to better simulate the dynamic range of a tube amp, that cleans up when you play softly and breaks up when you play harder. Therefore basically these three layers of IRs are recalled and blent together, according to how soft or hard you play. There are 250 patches built in, with additional 50 user patches at your disposal. Furthermore there is a 80 seconds looper that you can use with 68 drum patterns. It has a 256 by 128 dots matrix LCD, which is pretty poor, I would say, considering what the competition is offering. As regards inputs and outputs, we have a guitar input, an AUX in, and headphone out and unbalanced stereo outputs. It can be used as a two-channels USB-C audio interface, at up to 44.1 kHz and 24 bits, where the internal signal processing is at 32 bits. There is a computer app or an app for our phone at our disposal, to be used to build presets and dial our tone. The dimensions are the ones shown in the picture and the weight is respectively 700 grams and 950 grams. They require 9 volts at 500 milliamperes and they can also be bus powered with USB, which is a nice feature. So, here Zoom is trying to step up their game, upgrading the amp modeling algorithms, which is good, but at this price point the competition is pretty strong. For instance we have the NUX MG400 or the Veilton GP100. Therefore, I can't wait to have one of these new units here in my studio to make some interesting comparison videos. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell, not to miss these comparison videos. Another news, is that Headrush has released the new firmware 2.5 for their amp modeling pedal boards. The main new features in my opinion are, we have two new amp models, that are a Roland J120, and a Galleon Kruger 800RB. Then, we have a new ENV filter for the modulation FX category. Furthermore we have a new Reso delay. So a nice update, which is very welcome, even if I think that an area where Headrush has to improve is in their cabinet simulation. They should do something similar to what Line 6 has done with their 3.5 firmware, which has introduced amazing new features to their cabinet simulations. Another news is that Wampler has released two budget-friendly pedals, which are called Triumph and Phenom, both priced at $99, therefore a pretty affordable price. The Wampler Triumph is an overdrive based on the Boss SD-1 and Digitech Bad Monkey. The main difference is basically the more complete EQ section, divided into bass, mid and treble. In addition, it also has a toggle switch with two selections, which are smooth and punch. Plus, we have a dip switch with two slide switches that changes the effect sound. 
Then we have the Wampler Phenom which is based on the Plextortion circuit but has been developed using JFET instead of op amps and diodes. This pedal is supposed to imitate the vintage 5150 sound. In addition to the three band EQ, gain and volume control, it also has a toggle switch to select between bright and normal modes. The price point for both of these new pedals is pretty reasonable, also considering that we should be getting pretty good build quality from Wampler. In Europe they are going to be priced at 119 euros each. Let's now talk about the two notes revolt. As you know, I have ordered mine and fully paid it back in May. Furthermore, as you know, they have already postponed twice the released date. Therefore I reach out to them, asking if the revolt was shipping in December as promised. This is their answer, I hope all is well and thank you for reaching out to the Two Notes help desk. We are currently at the mercy of international shipping logistics, however we are on target for stock arrival mid-December. As soon as we get a confirmed date, we will be making an announcement on our socials so please stay tuned for updates. Therefore, we should be pretty close to have our unit in our studio, let's keep our fingers crossed and please subscribe and ring the bell not to miss my upcoming demo review. Let me finish this video, as always, with some music suggestions, just so that we can exchange some nice CD tips, in order to discover together new music or discover again old classics. Here you have mine for this video and of course feel free to suggest yours. This time I would mention the 2022 Andy Timmons album, Electric Truth. Well, I'm a real fun of Andy, and this is another great collection of songs. I would say a worthy successor of the 2016, Theme from a Perfect World, which is one of my favorite album ever. Here we have nine songs, nine solid compositions with memorable themes, that will resonate in your head for days and days. We have the beautiful Andy's guitar tone which is a trademark of Andy playing. In my opinion, the best thing of this album are Andy solos. His phrasing is so beautiful, and he has an innate ability to create such a great climax. I love Andy soloing. Thank you so much Andy, for your amazing music and great tone. We have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and leave a thumb up, as it would be of a great help. And, of course, you won't miss my future videos. If you are interested in my IRs, you can check out the link in the card above or description below, where there is also a link to a playlist of songs of mine. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.